Hello and welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2. I haven't been on this for a long time and I thought we'd have a bit of a Christmas winter special. <clears throat> and as you can see, it's snowing. And what have we got on the back of that truck? Yeah, we've got a couple of tractors. That's in honour of my favourite game this year. Well, it's a tough one between Farming Simulator and uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. Put a lot of hours into both of those games. And I thought, you know what? Back on Steam. Um, I'd only, I only installed it because I'd run out of hard drive space, but I thought, you know, it's time to get, get back on the road again because we did enjoy this game and we did play a lot of this multiplayer with my friends from uh, 3 Commando. Um, so yeah, decided I was jump back in. This is actually on a multiplayer server. I don't know if any of you had a chance to play multiplayer. It was a little bit hit and miss, especially when it came down to visiting some of the ports, I think it was Rotterdam and some of the other places, it was just absolute carnage and um, I've had a little play around on this this afternoon and I can tell you that the, ad the admins really are putting up with no shit whatsoever now even stopping in the road or not pulling over off to the side of the road if you want to park, overtaking is another one, I've seen a lot of people getting kicked and banned actually for overtaking down at the Euroports uh, you know, people have it looks like people are actually trying to play it properly now. They'll actually wait in line and queue. Um, but as you're about to see, there's still a few issues with frame rates, and you'll see some dickhead as I'm coming down into Rotterdam. Decides to uh, run straight out in front of me and pull in. I saw this coming, so I stopped in time. And um, yeah, so let's let's get head on down and get ourselves across the ferry. And a Merry Bloody Christmas to a lot of you. This is your truck simulator in the snow. Let's get going. Get trucking rubber dick 10-4. So as we pull in down here, we're actually going to be getting on the ferry. And as... Ah, isn't that a nice little touch, isn't it? There's a Christmas tree on the roundabout. How beautiful. Oh, shy. Bloody speeding looking at the bloody Christmas tree. So it looks like there is... They've added a little bit of extra. In here, nice little touch in it for Christmas. Um, uh, if you haven't, I was going to say, if you haven't played the multiplayer section for a little bit, for a while, you go to the um, the multiplayer website. They've now got a login system where you can log in, so you don't need to keep um, entering your details all the time. It's the, uh, it'll connect straight to Steam. You download the plugin. Um, it asks you for your uh, your directory for the game, and it really is as simple as that. Launch it, and then it puts you on a Euro server. I think. I'm not sure, there was 4,500 people on the server when I jumped in, so it may not look like there's a lot of people around now, uh, but that's because the, the I was going to say the world map or the, the, the area of Europe is friggin' huge. It's fucking massive. Um, so anyway, this is where it's going to start to get messy. This is where it used to get messy before. As I turn left here, we're actually going to be getting on the ferry, so we should start to see... A lot more people down here as we start to pull in. Um, playing with the 360 pad, I don't need to uh, look there because I know that you can't turn right. Um, I'm just going to change the view. Uh, as I said, I'm playing with the 360 pad, so that's why I keep flicking through all the views trying to get back to the actual steering wheel. So I'm going to guess and stick my thumb out here and say that as we get on here on this ferry and we come off the other side. It's going to be a bada bing, bada bung at the other side. It's going to be busy. Right, so let's just pick our route across. Let's go. Let's set sail. There's something about this game. It's like farming simulator. There's something uh, just escaped from reality. Oh, here we go. Here we go. A lot of people in here. In case you didn't know when you come off it, it's a no collision zone there. Uh, but now as I've actually leave, you'll see there'll be a message at the bottom in a minute saying I'm in a collision zone. So, oh, minute, I'm forgetting what side of the road we're on. <laughs> we're abroad now. We're not in the UK. So, not that many people here, actually. Um, the game is fantastic in co-op. We used to play it with like eight or nine of us, and uh, you, just, you just have so much fun stopping at the services on the M1. Whoa, look at this lot. Holy crap. Okay. Um... This is getting busy and we need to turn right at the end of here. So we're going to be following this this truck in front. As I've said, the, the admins at the bottom in red, they really are putting up with no shit, which is fantastic because it stops people ramming you. It stops people stopping in the road and barging. And it looks like this guy on the left is going to let me go. That's nice of you. Thanks, mate. 
I'm just going to pull out here. Ooh, that's a little bit close. Got to come out a little bit further just to get the trail around. This is fantastic. This is what Euro Truck Simulator is all about. Getting all these trucks in. These are all human players. None of these are AI. Um, the only difference with playing with human players is there are no um, AI traffic. So there are no cars or vehicles or you know traffic jams. Not really. You're only really going to get traffic jams like places like this. Look in it. This is busy. Nice. Just get around there. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought I was going to let that do it then. Yeah, nice. No, some other truck in. So you can see the time down there on the sat nav. Whoa, it's hard to steer when you're looking at that camera angle. Um, obviously, <clears throat> I would imagine we actually get snow as well. It's got his beacon on. And if there is any snow, I may put some extra footage in, but obviously it's really dependent on weather conditions such as rain um, and things like that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Just trucking on down here. It feels great when you're in a convoy and you're all pulling your trailers. It's hard to describe, it sounds really nerdy. I know, I know it's nerdy, but there's something really relaxing about it. Right, so let's get out on the road. Is anybody else following us? Whoa, watch it mate, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? That really wasn't that bad traffic-wise. Um, I think I'm going to truck on down until I get to the uh, next location. And um, we'll stop the footage there and we'll see if the carnage gets any worse. Oh, flipping it. Frame rate's dropped a little bit. Looks like there's been a crash there. Fucking dickheads. Watch what you're doing, pal. Watch what you're doing. Yeah, we've still got somebody behind us. Right, so let's keep on trucking. A lot of people coming down to the... Um, to Rotterdam which is where most of the crashes happen especially if somebody rams into somebody the physics go a little bit funny they can get stuck they can sink into the road and things like that and then you're in a whole world of pain because you it fucks your truck completely whoa massive pause there must have been another crash somewhere uh, you may know, may know or may not know, but I've been playing Construction Simulator 2015. You'll find that on my channel as well. Another enjoyable game. Whoa, we're getting some frame rate here. Something, something's, something's gonna miss here. Um, I think I'll pause it because sometimes that fixes the uh, frame rate for you. Now, what you're about to see here as the frame rate drops a little bit is a little fucking dickhead pull out of this right-hand side lane. Um, I'm leaving a little bit of a gap to give this guy a bit of space in front. It seems to be like quite a queue going up here and behind. So it's really just a matter of creeping up. This guy here, look, I give. I mean, what the fuck? That's the sort of thing that the admins are going to kick and ban you for. Um, I wasn't going to let him in, but I thought, fuck it, he's just going to barge his way in. You can report these people, but I just thought, you know what, let, let him get on with it. I'm only going to piss him off and he's just going to wreck my fucking truck. So I'm going to let this little tow rag in. And we're just going to keep on moving down. As you can see now, up ahead, looks like somebody's come too wide or they've tried to turn the wrong direction. It looks like that white truck has forgotten which country he's in. And we're in a collision zone now. And this fucking little prick in front of me has just bumped my truck. So I'm just going to... Oh! Someone's got squashed. <laughs> to the left. <laughs> what the fuck? And now we've got somebody doing the Congo beat in front of us, a bit of reggae reggae styley. So really now, I either have to wait for the trucks on the left, left of me to pass so I can go around, or I'm going to have to go right onto the hard shoulder and go past this guy. This is really dangerous because even though he's bouncing, his hit detection box may not actually be there because it's slightly bugged. This is just this all comes down to fucking idiots pulling out of there when the road's not clear, in a rush. That's not what a simulation game is about. A simulation game is about playing it as a sim. Now I'm guessing this guy's truck's fucked, so I'm, I'm gonna carefully come around here. It's the only way to get around him. Let's make our way around here. Yep, nice. I think we made it. And we've come to a red traffic light. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, traffic lights. Another thing, if you go through a red traffic light, you not only get a ticket, 
uh, the admins will actually kick you because it's classed as a bad a simish a simishness and I've just made that word up but you know what I mean if you start doing all that sort of crap it's um, it's a bannable offence which is, is good we, we should do this more in some games we should have more admins on but with 4,000 players you can imagine the carnage if two or three of them decide to block a road off um, that's your route and your game focus so it, it is a good idea that the admins are on I'd love to get on and uh, do some videos with some more of the three commando guys. I don't know if any of them still got it. I haven't been in touch with them for a while. Um, so what we'll do is we'll drop this load off here. And we shall call that out of Y. It's actually Christmas Eve. Well, it will be Christmas Eve in a few hours. And I'm going to be on my Jack Jones. <laughs> Girlfriend's on standby at the airport again. So fucking hell, another year on my own. I might have a wank and uh, get drunk on Southern Comfort. Do a bit of drunk motherfucking trucking, eh? Yeah, I think we might. Well, I'm going to end this video, but I can't end the video by just slinging this in here. We're, we're you know, we're pro. We're, we were logistics in 2-9 Commando, so this shit needs doing. It needs doing, right, lads? Thanks for watching. It's been a great year for gaming. I hope you enjoy yourself tonight. Whatever you do when you get drunk, get laid, whatever. Whatever. Get blown, get fucked, whatever. All the best. Subscribe if you want to see some more videos. Um, lots coming, lots of different games. Uh, I don't tend to do bazillions and billions of videos of each series because people just don't watch them. And I've got, even though I've got like 900 subscribers, I think people only watch about 30 or 40 views of videos. So it's pretty pointless, really. But I enjoy doing it, and that's what all that counts in it. Anyway, guys, have a good New Year. I hope you had a good Christmas, and I shall catch you all in the future for some more PC gaming. See you on the I was gonna say battlefield then. I'll see you on the road. Mother trucker 10 4 out. Big rubber dick.